I don't know what you did, but something changed. Everyone can feel it. Then the curse is broken at last. They'll hate me if they find out I caused the curse. Oh, we've lost so much. I need to make amends. But what would the truth bring us except more pain? My Nelhilda mourns for her beloved Gamerth. I need to find a way to help her. Maybe you're right. Nelhilda struggled to find the enchantment and she lost her beloved Gamerth. She deserves my honesty. I hope she can forgive me. Now, Hilda, please, come here. What is it, Father? I need to get this off my chest. I made the deal that doomed us. I made the bargain with the Daedric Prince. Father, why would you do such a thing? I lost my love to this cursed place because you weren't selling enough mead? I never want to see you again! Nell Hilda was the only thing that kept me sane in this dread place. What will I do now? I beg of you, daughter. Try to forgive me. What I did was a foolish mistake. I never imagined anyone else would be at risk. I don't know what to do. I'm so angry at him. And yet, my father is all I have left. Look what my father's selfishness has cost us. How could he have been so foolish? That's asking a lot of me. My father always seemed more aware. I sometimes wondered if he knew more than he let on. But to have caused all of this suffering? My poor Gamerth. I know. I keep thinking about how kind he could be, always helping others. He did something terribly foolish, but I know he is not a bad man. I'll try to forgive him, but I do wish we could leave this place. We will go to the Hollow City. Some of the villagers may decide to stay here, where it's familiar, but that will be their choice. I grieve for the lost, but it's not in a Nord's nature to just. I think I can forgive you, Father, though it may take time. For now, it's best if we leave this place. Oh, my dear girl, I will do everything in my power to make this up to you and to the others. Listen, everyone. We're going to the Hollow City. Join us! We're lords, and we can handle whatever Cold Harbor throws our way! Come, Father. We need to make plans to travel to the Hollow City.
Found the old Everfall flagon, eh? Interesting place, the flagon. Glad someone's finally got it sorted out. Good show. Smashing idea. Really excellent. They'll be safe there. Um, how about that thane? Excellent mead. Well, one must choose one's battles, mustn't one? Rescuing maidens, fighting injustice, those are my specialities. But taking mead away from drunken nords, I mean, really, that way lies madness. Righto, always happy to pitch in, lend a hand, steer a course, make a difference. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll get them to the hollow city. Very nice in there. Plenty of mead. They'll feel right at home. Hello there. Troops grow weak, ah, Thalic. The worm pet isn't what it once was, and this mage isn't going to change that. You throw peasants at me, Estri. Confuse weakness with boredom. My mage will do just fine. Believe what you will. When I am victorious and you grovel before me, I will remind you of this moment and how wrong you were. You're too bigger like a couple of married old gnomes. You didn't even notice the new arrival. <laughs> Another one? Where do they all come from? I swear they pop up like rabbits. This one is different. Special. <laughs> I think this one will make a good addition to my team. 
Why have you wandered into the cliffs of failure, mortal? Are you curious as to what you must face here? Do you want it, you? Or why these mages abound before us? I have answers, of course, if you are willing to listen. The three standing beside me have either failed the Lord of Schemes in life or become bound to him in death. Redemption calls to each of them, but to win back the Dark Lord's favor, they must first win my game. And no one has ever won my game. Why, these mages have joined the game. Sides have been drawn and tasks assigned. First, they each must perform a small deed for their new masters. If they survive that, then the fun begins. They can start killing each other. You are so nicely, but no. Once you begin the game, only victory or defeat can set you free. You, however, shall add an element of surprise and excitement to the game. Will you rush bravely into the fray, or will you turn and run like a coward? I appreciate your spirit, but save it for the game. I have been master of this game for thousands of years. Many have tried to defeat me, all have fallen. I confess that the game has begun to bore me. Where is the challenge? So you can understand my excitement. You have come here of your own accord. You seek to defend the mages so unprecedented. Still, to participate, you must choose a side. There are no wild cards in this game. They are in the game now, below us. They fight for their lives, doing all they can to survive. I'll be curious to see if they make it past the first trial. So few do, you know. That portal will take you to the battleground. Find the mages there, if they haven't been eliminated yet. Be warned, once you enter the portal, you are committed to the game. Remember that, I don't abide cheaters or quitters. My master hates when his servants fail him. It breaks his heart, but he will forgive if they can prove they still have something to offer. Take these three, failures, every one. But my master offers a chance. He allows them to compete in my game. The rules are simple. These three cannot participate in the game directly. They must use pawns to fight for them. In this case, the mages. If a chosen champion falls, corresponding leader and redemption slips from their grasp. You get to compete as well. Join a team and lead it to victory. Do this and you can claim the prize that has thus far been unattainable. Freedom from my game. And I'll even sweeten the deal. Win and you can take one of the mages with you. So sorry, Julian. I do this because I must. One of us has to make it out of here and get back to our mission. Why, my dear friend? You... You came with us to stop Molag Ball, didn't you? 
I'm sorry you got caught up in this. Take my life. Finish me. I refuse to participate in this travesty. Really? Well, your timing is terrible. Couldn't you have shown up before we started killing each other? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just frustrated in myself. And a little in pain. Can you believe Mim stabbed me? Mim talked about a plan to get us out of this. Said we just needed to play along. But as soon as we got down here, the Dark Elf fled and the cat stabbed me. Said everything would be all right. Never trust a cat. Angoff selected me. The bastard who tried to destroy Glenumbra picks the Breton of all the arrogance and gall. Ugh. I guess it doesn't matter now. He gave me these strange seeds, said they'd help if I planted them. Angoff told me to plant the seeds in the corpses of the fallen. He seemed desperate, but there was also a kind of compassion in his eyes. Here, take them. I don't want them. You can perform this task. Maybe that will help us.
stay away from Mim. Don't... don't make this one hurt you. Mim will win this game. Mim will beat everyone and get us out of here. All of us. Help! You can't help. We're stuck here, fighting to the death. No one gets out alive. That's just how the game works. Mim will kill them all, even the Observer. Then he'll have to let us out. He can't hold us here if he's dead. Mim needed to slow Julin down. She's hard-headed, ready to rush into battle at the smallest provocation. It may not seem like it, but Mim said it matter if this one can't figure out what to do with Tholek's stupid rune. He said it harnessed the power of the dead, whatever that means. Called it his death rune. It's dark magic, and Mim wants no part of it. Show Mim you actually want to help, and figure out what to do with the rune. Maybe we can use it against him.